Just looking for a breakfast lunch spot in a state forest. That's it. That's just what I'm doing. What do you do when you're driving on a one-way forest road in a big old RV and it's only room for one vehicle? Please, 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 please. No. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. This is our road right now. Nomad lunch break. Was it delicious? Good girl. You did good girl. Was it delicious? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's got chicken. It was chicken. Way too buggy to eat outside, unfortunately. It's even buggy in here. I think you might need to make yourself a little more comfortable. <laughs> oh, that little puppy body. I know you're not a puppy, but you're cute. Mostly vegan, mostly vegan. Um, you know, I 
do like miss out on a lot. And so sometimes I splurge. Yeah. Well, if you're staying in the Adirondacks in this part of the state and you need a dump station, don't go to Moffat Beach State Park. Unless you're staying there, you can't use the campground. Which, I mean, the dump station, which makes no sense because, I mean, I've used at least two or three other state park dump stations without staying there. So I don't know why this one would be any different. The guy had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, just thought I would try it since I saw the sign. But this is really cool. They've got campsites all along the road out here that are really spread out. I They look like dispersed camping sites, but I'm sure it's a state park. Pretty cool. So if you do want to stay in the state park, Moffat Beach might be worth checking out. narrow getting in and not a lot of space. So the, the pin I dropped, uh, uh, you know, I, I got the GPS coordinate off of Iolerlander for the one with a picture of a big site. And I'm still a couple miles from that down this road. So all of the sites pretty much along this road are on Iolerlander. And I don't know. A big site is usually they go pretty quick because there aren't, especially in this part of the country, there's not a lot of places for big rigs and they usually go pretty quick. There's nobody out here though, which is promising. Maybe all the rain and the cloudy weather, I don't know. There's nobody out here. But sure as shit, there's going to be somebody in the, in the, a lot of sites, but they've got too much tree coverage. But sure as hell, though, the one I want that's going to be big enough to get everything I need will be taken. Cross your fingers for me. Cross your fingers for me. Oh, bummer. That's the one. That's not big enough. I mean, it's big enough, but there's just not enough sky. Oh, bummer. All right, I saw pictures, I'm pretty sure it was here, of way bigger ones. This road dead ends eventually, so I'm just gonna keep going. There's nobody out here. There's, uh, I was gonna say the fact that there's even not even anybody at the at the I Overlander spot really um, is a good sign, except that there's like ten I Overlander dead spots out here on the app. So I have no cell signal at all, so I need Starlink. Or not. I don't know. And here is the end. Bummer. Oh shoot. I don't want to get stuck. I reached the end, so now it's time to go back and take a closer look at all of them. <laughs> Nobody out here. Nobody. I saw a guy walking his dog when I first turned off on this road. I didn't see where he was camped. Okay. okay I saw this site coming in. Running out of battery. Way. <laughs> the concern, of course, would be getting stuck. But look how far back it goes. So let's see. Hopefully it opens up. I don't know. Oh, this is very muddy. Ah, shit. All right. We'll go look anyway. I probably shouldn't, because then I might be tempted to drive back here. All right, well, there's somebody back here. <laughs> Takes care of that for me. Mm. An hour later. One of the most frustrating things you will ever do as a full-time RVer Let's try to find boondocking east of the Mississippi. There's tons of it out here, and I 
did end up finding the big spots and they're taken. It was down a different road, which I'm on now, which isn't as good as the other road. I don't know. And I owe a sponsor a video tomorrow that I have to finish up and upload. So I can't not be off, I can't be off grid. That's my life. a very long travel day huh and a lot of rain it rained a lot today didn't it are you okay are you okay there's bugs there's bugs there's bugs huh there's bugs she's a good girl she's a good girl camp <laughs> hi from the midwest everyone i am one of carolyn's patrons because i have enjoyed watching her channel for years she has inspired me to be more adventurous and I enjoy being a patron because I get a closer look at her daily life and I'm part of her friendly community. I believe it is important to support independent creators like Carolyn. So do your part and join Patreon. Be happy, be free, be kind, and my dog just loves Sadie.